مرحبا من لبنان الليلة مشاهدي الفضائية سرويو تي في وأيضا صفحة سرويو تي في لبنان ومستمعينا عبر راديو سرويو أف أم نحن وياكم لتغطية وقائع الاحتفال يلي نظموا برنامج تنمية قدرات التعليم العالي الممول من الوكالة الأمريكية للتنمية الدولية هالاحتفال بمناسبة افتتاح مكتب الخدمات المهنية اللي بتدعم الوكالة الأمريكية للتنمية الدولية بجامعة الروح القدس الكاسليك هالاحتفال يلي أقيم بحرم الجامعة بالكاسليك حضروا كل من مديرة الوكالة الأمريكية للتنمية الدولية بلبنان جولي ساوثفيلد ورئيس الجامعة حضرة الأب طلال هاشم إلى جانب ممثلين عن أعضاء هيئة التدريس والموظفين في الجامعة ومركز تطوير التعليم والوكالة الأمريكية للتنمية الدولية بلبنان هالمكتب مكتب الخدمات المهنية بجامعة الروح القدس يلي عودتنا دايما تكون سباقة بكل المجالات هو أول مركز مهني جامعي يفتتح بين تسع مراكز بجامعات أخرى بلبنان يلي تلقت أيضا دعم عيني ضمن مبادرة تعزيز مراكز المهنية اللي أطلقتها الوكالة الأمريكية للتنمية الدولية من خلال برنامج تنمية قدرات التعليم العالي بالعام 2022 رح نسمع الكلمات مشاهدينا ومنرجع متابعة Good morning everyone On behalf of the Higher Education Capacity Development Program and Holy Spirit University of Kaslik I would like to welcome you all today to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the UZEC Renovated Career Services Office Before we proceed with our program, I ask you all to please stand for the Lebanese and American national anthems. Since the inception of the HECD program in 2019, USAID has contributed to the institutional development of nine higher education institutions in Lebanon, including USEC. The support covered five main components, including job readiness programs, alumni services, employer engagement, career center enhancements, and grant writing. Specifically, last year, HECD managed the Career Center Enhancement Initiative that supported nine campus career centers to provide high-quality services for students. To tell you more about this initiative, I invite HECD's project manager, Dr. Wael Zara'i, to the stage for his welcome note. The HECD has always adopted a continuous process of capacity development to our university partners. Following FSU study tour, the university partners worked on a creating a proposal that included a request for additional programs and support. 
These come for additional services or equipment needed to build out a comprehensive career center, which the HCD has branded as the Career Center in Kind Grants. The purpose of this grant is to improve the university's campus career centers and enabling the delivery of upgraded career services for students, thus contributing to the career center enhancement activity which the HCD program description entails. The Career Center in Kind Grants initiative was finally achieved by September 2023. The provision of equipment, furniture, software, and learning supporting material is to enhance the quality of career services for students. The goods and services provided by this in-kind grant will be used by the Career Center for the development and progress of their students. HECD Next initiative with Uzak University and the other university partners is to create a Career Center consortium reaching a new level of collaboration between the university career centers, this consortium will be working with the employers on the private sector into sustaining the HCD's Students' Career Center Enhancement Initiative. Also, HCD tailored follow-up technical support will continue with Uzag University. Based on Uzag's request, the HCD will be supporting the faculty with a dedicated grant writing training. I would like to thank the U.S. Embassy and USAID for their continuous support to HECD and thanks to Uzag University leadership for their trust and confidence in the HECD program. Unique among universities in Lebanon, Holy Spirit University of Kaslik was the first university to be established as a private non-profit institution by Lebanese citizens who have been placing their values in education since the 17th century. Today, we find ourselves um, at the Uzek campus and it holds a profound significance as we come together to commemorate a significant milestone in the partnership between USAID and Uzek. To elaborate more about the successes of this partnership, I invite Father Talal Hashem, President of Holy Spirit University of Kaslik, to join us on stage for his remarks. Dear distinguished guests, faculty members, students, and friends, it gives me a great pleasure to be welcoming you all today at USAC for the ribbon cutting of our career service office that was made possible through the generous support of the HACD program funded by USAID. In January 2020, USAC joined the HECD program. Since then, along with the HECD team, we've been through a lot. The project was responding to an urgent need, which is to prepare the ground for our students to secure employment in an ever evolving job market at both the global and local levels. Therefore, several activities have been conducted and I was informed by the team that these various activities, and here we are talking about field assessment, training workshops, course, focus group meetings, networking, these activities had one focus, which is our students. And today, launching our CSO represents also a significant milestone in our commitment to providing our students once more with the resources and opportunities they need to succeed in their future careers. It also underscores USAC's dedication to fostering innovation, entrepreneurship, and professional development among our students. And we all know that our work through the CSO will go beyond building soft and hard skills, and beyond guiding our students 
and connecting them with industry professionals. As a matter of fact, through the HACD, we are not simply building career centers, but we are rather building a mindset and a future. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to S8, represented today by the mission director, Julie Southfield, and the EDC represented also by Bill Plotter, and to the whole HECD team, Wael, Lubna, Sana, for their partnership and investment in our university's mission to prepare our students for success in the global workforce. I am confident that our CSO will become a beacon of opportunity and inspiration for our students, guiding them towards fulfilling and rewarding careers. Finally, I encourage all of our students to take full advantage of the resources available to them and to embrace the journey of self-discovery and growth that lies ahead. Thank you all once again and I hope through the CSO we would be shaping the future of our students and empowering them to reach new heights of success. Thanks to the generous support of the American people through USAID, HECD program has contributed to higher education in Lebanon for the past four years. Today, we are honored to have USAID Mission Director Ms. Julie Southfield with us to speak on behalf of USAID Lebanon. A career member of the Senior Foreign Service, Ms. Southfield arrived to Lebanon in August 2023 after serving as the Deputy Director of the Bureau for Conflict Prevention and Stabilization's Office of Transition Initiatives in Washington, D.C. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Julie Southfield to the stage for her remarks. Good morning, Father Hashem, distinguished guests, students, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here today at the Holy Spirit University of Kaslik as we come together to celebrate the opening of the newly renovated Career Center, a project that was made possible with the support of USAID. I really want to thank Father Hashem and the university for being anchor partners in this initiative and helping to guide this effort forward. At USAID, we believe that the Improved Career Center will provide huge dividends in the future for its students and, by extension, for Lebanon. As I reflect back on my own time as a student, growing up in a very rural area, many of my classmates never contemplated that they would even attend college. So I'm reminded of how difficult it can be for some people to make a successful transition into higher education and, therefore, into the workforce, despite their education and their talents. I'm excited and I'm grateful that this Career Center will give students the resources to be better equipped for the job market. So we here at USAID understand that USEC was established with a vital mission to provide everyday Lebanese citizens with the first chance at higher education. Our partnership under USAID's Higher Education Capacity Development Program broadens the vision with the goal to enhance the quality and reach of campus career centers. USA provided equipment, furniture, software, and learning support materials, as we saw in the video, to fully equip these career centers for students to thrive. With new job readiness skills and better services to draw on, students will be well-placed to forge their paths in the job market. USEC is one of a group of nine universities across Lebanon benefiting from this type of support. Today, we acknowledge the university's efforts to enhance its career center to better prepare its students to be successful in creating a student-centered environment that makes career ac education accessible to all. The HECD program has provided 1,000 administrators and instructors with high-quality professional development training. And over 11,000 students from 10 partner universities have benefited from job readiness courses and workshops. 
Through this initiative, the US government has strengthened the role of higher education to contribute to Lebanon's long-term prosperity. USAID's support to higher education goes well beyond the funding that we've provided to HECD. Since 2015, the US government, through USAID, has provided $185 million in full and partial scholarships to about 5,000 students here in Lebanon, including refugees. The accomplishment at Uzek that we're celebrating today is a significant milestone in our shared journey. I appreciate your dedication to enhancing the quality of higher education, life skills, and job readiness for Lebanese youth. On behalf of the American people, we share the same commitment. So to the esteemed university representatives, I encourage you to seize every opportunity under the HCCD program provides to your institutions in order to prepare Lebanon's future generations for success in the global workforce. Thank you. برنامج HECD ساهم بشكل مباشر على تعزيز قدرات الطلاب انه يقدروا يختاروا فرص العمل المناسبه لهم بمرحله لاحقه وقتها اللي بيتخرجوا وكانت هذه المساهمه على عده مستويات، المستوى الاول هو مثل ما شفنا اليوم بالريبن كاتنج للكارير سيرفيس اوفيس المكتب تجهز بشكل كامل باللاتست تكنولوجيز ان كان سوفت وير صار بمتناول الطلاب لحتى يحطهم بلقاء مباشر مع 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 الامبلويرز بلبنان وبرات لبنان وكمان تجهيز من جهه التكنولوجيا ولا تجهيز كل التجهيزات التكنولوجيه كمان صارت موجوده بقلب المكتب المستوى الثاني او الدايمنشن الثاني اللي اشتغل عليها اتش اي سي دي هي تدريب الموظفين بهذا المركز لحتى يقدروا يساهموا بتوجيه الطلاب كمان بشكل مباشر وافشنت ات ذا سيم تايم ف اشتغل على تدريب الموظفين وكمان تدريب الكوادر التعليميه يلي هن الاساتذه اللي بيكونوا موجودين مع الطلاب اكيد بشكل يومي، هن كمان بيقدروا يساعدون كيف اوقات يمشوا بالمسار المهني الصحيح او اوقات بيبقوا مختارين مسار معين بيساعدون شوي بتوجيه مساراتهم مثل بما هو بيصب اكيد بمصلحتهم بعدين ات ليتر ستيج. وثالث ثالث مستوى او ثالث دايمنشن اشتغل عليها اتش اي سي دي هي بناء شراكات مع القطاع الخاص. وهذه الشراكات اكيد بتعود بالنفع على طلابنا لانه بيقدروا يعرفوا البرايفت سيكتور شو بده مزبوط شو هن السكيلز اللي بيكون طالبها شو الريكويرمنتس اوف ذا برايفت سيكتور لحتى يكونوا موجودين عند طلابنا كمان واكيد بحطهم بلقاء مباشر مع اصحاب العمل يلي هن بيتعرفوا عليهم بشكل مباشر من خلال هيدي الشراكات اللي عم تنعمل ببرنامج اتش اي سي دي، هيدا بشكل عام الامباكت المباشر على طلابنا واكيد اكيد بفتره قصيره رح نكون عم نشوف كل نتائج هيدا الشغل المكثف اللي انعمل كله بفضل برنامج اتش اي سي دي. بعد ما سمعنا كل هالكلمات يلي بتعطي امل كبير لكل طلاب لبنان يلي عندهم فرصه يحققوها بذاتهم وبمهنتهم من لبنان للعالم قدم برنامج تنمية قدرات التعليم العالي يلي بتبلغ قيمته 13 مليون دولار وبيمتد على فترة خمس سنوات دعم لأكثر من ألف مشارك ومشاركة من إداريين ومدرسين أكاديميين بالتعليم العالي عبر تطوير مهني عالي الجودة لمساعدة الجامعات بإعداد خريجية لدخول سوق العمل بنجاح كما وأنه استفاد حتى اليوم ما يفوق ل 11400 طالب وطالبة من برامج الاستعداد الوظيفي الخاصة بالمشروع نحن وياكم من حرم جامعة الروح القدس بالكاسليك مشاهدي الفضائي سرويو في من السويد إلى العالم ومستمعين عبر راديو سرويو أف أم وصفحة سرويو في لبنان بودعكم وملتقانا الأسبوع الجاي دايما من لبنان إلى اللقاء